And I'm back again. Uh, uh, my past few vlogs have been about work. And this one's also going to be about work. But that just, that's really the main thing I've been doing since I got this job. Uh, which is good and bad. I mean, I'm making money. Uh, and I'm getting out of the house, but now I can't really seem to do other stuff. Because uh, usually when I get off work, I just come home and relax or uh, if I do go out <clears throat> uh, usually with my parents I'll just come home change clothes and then immediately go back and go out out of the house uh, so I'll be would be gone for like 12 hours from home. <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, but usually I'm just relaxing, like watching uh, movies or TV shows on my laptop and or playing video games. Because I've just been, you know, working for seven or eight hours, and I just want to uh, be off my feet and do nothing. Uh, so it is kind of eating into... Uh, uh, my sh uh, social life, if I have one, and uh, and uh, this week, uh, one of my coworkers is going on vacation, so I'm going to be the one taking over his shift, which is usually two p.m. to nine p.m. Sometimes still ten p.m. or uh, so that's, so I'll be working later on in the day, but also getting off late at night, so I really can't go out and do anything when I get off at 9 p.m. Hopefully, I can get a set schedule again, because it, mine's been changing a lot. A lot lately and I also had to come in early for a few days because some of my co-workers were out sick or they, they uh, hurt their back and couldn't come in so I would have to come in like an, uh, an hour or so earlier earlier to help out uh, and also I'm still kind of learning stuff about the job even though I've been doing it for two months now like uh, this other day uh, uh, this guy comes in and uh, pays a hundred dollars for gas on uh, one pump, he, he gives me a hundred dollar bill and I put it on the pump he's at. And then we have to put the fifty and the hundred dollar bills in the safe right away. We, we can't keep them in our register. And that's what I did. and. Then, 
a little bit later, he comes back in and uh, says he could only fit about $30 worth of gas into his car. So there's $70 still on the pump, which <clears throat> uh, uh, I would usually give the customer back back their change from my register when that happens which which is usually often uh, it, it happens a lot but this time uh i didn't have enough like uh i didn't have 70 dollars to give him well i i guess i Technically did, but I would have to give him all my fives and most of my ones, uh, which which uh, isn't good because you need fives and ones the most for change. So so I open up my register and count my money and see I can't give it to him. So I, I just close it up and then tell the customer to hold on a second and I go get one of the managers and and tell him about the situation and he said he'll be right there. So I go back to the register and then just uh, tell the, the guy to hold on a second. And then I start checking out another customer. But uh, the manager comes back and he says, well, and then uh, when the manager comes back and uh, he sees that I already I punched in the change for the pump, uh, like our registers are just basically touch screen computers and I already like tap the buttons to give him the ch his change back and because I did that uh, the register thinks I already gave him his money so it thinks I have $70 less than what I do have. Uh, the manager had to go to a different cash register and get the money out of it. And then that cash register was $70 short. But then he told me, uh, you should just hit void item uh, when when you were uh, uh, had your cash register open for the the uh, pump change, like or like hit it hit void item before you started checking out the customer, the next customer. Because if I did that, then the money would go back on the pump, and then then any cash register could give the change. And it would have been a lot easier, but um, I didn't know that because uh, it hadn't happened. This hadn't happened to me before. So I didn't know that you could do that. And no one, no one had told me before. And, like, they don't, I guess, uh, people don't tell you what to do until after you do it wrong. That seems to be what happens to me. So, like, I don't know what to do until people tell me what to do. Like, I knew that uh, 
the cash register would show uh, I gave back to change when I hit the button. I didn't know exactly how much money I had at the time because I, I don't keep track. Not not of all the money, so uh, I I knew knew that uh, knew I knew some of it, I guess some of the things what what happened, and I I knew I was in a little bit of trouble when I realized I didn't have enough money, but. Uh, I didn't know you could just just hit one button and then uh, undo what you did. So just just like a little details, but just, uh, some small stuff that they didn't tell me during training or or that uh, they told me a lot about the cash register. Uh, like during my training, but not like just those couple small details. Like uh, what one other thing like is like in order to punch in nachos, you have to go to hot dogs first hit hot, the hot dog button and then it will give you buttons for hot dogs and one for nachos which is weird that nachos would be under hot dogs but no one told me that until uh, till a customer came to me with nachos But yeah, I, I understand because the, there's just so much stuff on the cash register uh, to know that just some stuff slips through the cracks. But I, it all worked out because I was able for me to give the money to the uh, other cash register so they wouldn't be short later on but uh, you just have to remember that for next time and it, I, I guess that's it for this vlog uh, yeah some stuff I just guess I well not I, I don't guess because I don't want to do the wrong thing but I either ask questions or end up doing the wrong thing and then just learning from the experience or whatever people tell me that's basically uh, what happens with some stuff but the uh, they're the people are still really nice about it, and they no one's yelled at me yet. But I, I don't think they will. But but uh, it's a I guess learning curve. I think that's the phrase, and also learning experience for me. And, uh, and so, uh, until next video, goodbye.